life can be so wonderfully profound. First, I was knit together in my mother's womb, defying all odds to make it into this world. Then, while going about life as a young woman out of college, I found a soul that moved me, and we got married. Our first home was quite the ride. We had such big dreams to turn this fixer-upper into our forever home, the place where we would grow our family and raise our kids. But that home renovation experience put our marriage through the ringer, and I was confronted with childhood wounds I didn't even know I had. Thankfully, just like with every other trial that I faced in life, God had a greater purpose for my pain. He gave me the opportunity to dig deeper into my past and turn my suffering into a survival guide for many, in the form of a book. I named that book Forever Home, and it got published right when our actual home was completed. This was our brainchild, so to speak. But throughout this whole journey, from buying the house to renovating it while writing my book, we had been trying, and trying, and trying. To have our actual first child, and then a month after Forever Home was published, it happened. The moment I saw that positive pregnancy line, I felt an immediate acceptance. It was a feeling of yes, I knew it was you. My tummy already felt different, even at five weeks pregnant, as if there was the energy of a soul in my womb. My face had broken out in eczema the way it never had before, but I couldn't have been happier with the news. I kept the secret all to myself for one excruciating night. And the next day, I told John. Once the secret was out, we couldn't stop telling our loved ones. These were some of my fondest memories by far. Oh, okay. Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> Yay! Oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, 
tại sao we went to hear baby's heartbeat. We couldn't stop our minds from worrying. There were so many accounts of miscarriages in our community that we were riddled with anxiety. The only thing we could do was pray and surrender. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Don't be nervous. Everything will be okay. Thanks. Also, I thought it was like a abdominal ultrasound, but...
Finding out about my fibroids was worrisome because it could result in preterm labor, growth restriction of the baby, and even spontaneous miscarriage. All things that could easily make a first-time mom spiral. I never knew how difficult and rare it is to bring a human being into the world without complications. So many things have to go right for you and I to be born healthy. Conception itself is often already a challenge for many people, but if you successfully conceive, the first few weeks will be filled with bliss as you grow your little one from the size of a sesame seed to an olive to a garlic bulb, and so forth. My little garlic bulb barely shows through my lower abdomen, but the changes that are happening in me are already so profound. I feel like my body is commencing a new hidden program that I didn't know was possible. Body parts are growing, hormones are raging, and every week the little garlic bulb sets its roots deeper into my womb and sends its shoots straight through every thought bubble I form. This baby has already given me a glimpse at how God feels about you and me. He is all the way invested in you, all the way committed to being your parent. He thinks about you constantly. Your well-being matters to him because he cares for you more than anything else that he's ever created. So take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Your heavenly Father has your back no matter what. This is what I have to tell myself daily. Sarah's a baby. Oh my God. Oh my gosh! Just, Whoa, that is so cool. Coming up, my nurse, we're gonna do the vaginal scan because that gets us a little closer. Sometimes we can see even better. Look at his foot! Those little toesies right there. <laughs> oh, the the foot. So, yeah. that's a perfect foot! Oh my gosh, is oh. it moving right now? Baby woke up. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, they're moving, honey. It's the bigger and the more fibroids, the, the higher the risk, but. We have lots of pregnant women with fibroids. I don't remember the last time that they caused any issues. Oh, so God. hairs aren't that big. I've seen 10, 12, 15. Like footballs. Footballs, exactly, yes. I see the king got it all on Tampa too. Oh, wow. Oh, that's so I received so many messages from you all telling me that you've prayed for our family over the years. And I can't thank you enough for your prayers and for following our journey. We can't wait to share this next beautiful chapter with you. I'll see you again soon.